Hey guys, I just wanted to share share with y'all something I made the other day. Uh, now I do apologize for the crappy video quality as this is being recorded on my iPhone. But those of you that follow my channel uh, may know that I have an interest in crosscut saws. Uh, uh, some of you that may watch my channel may also watch uh, Wrangler Saw. If you haven't watched him, I'd recommend you checking him out. He, uh, he does a lot of cool things. But anyway, you guys have seen my restoration on this saw. Um, and I'm working on restoring some more saws and yeah so I mean I have a couple saws and the problem I I have is I never really had a good pair of handles the previous handles I made for this saw was just a piece of a, it was like one by two uh, probably came up to about here there was no down hang on the bottom and I just drilled two holes uh, in a piece of wood to match on the saw now the problem with that handle was I couldn't get any grip on the bottom if I ever needed to and additionally I couldn't find a proper set of bolts that would really keep that handle secure even if I cranked it down there was always a little bit of a uh, wiggle room in there uh, now I wanted a better handle so I looked around on eBay there is a company that makes modern handles like this uh, this style that I've kind of copied is called a I believe it's more of a Western style handle and for the new handles uh, and hardware, I think they wanted 120 bucks. Um, I did look around in purchasing a, an older set of handles, but I really couldn't find any that I liked. And additionally, the problem with purchasing old handles, people never really clarify if the bolt is froze on the knot or, or if there's any parts missing. And, um, you know, the prices just kept escalating. So I, I couldn't find anything... Uh, somewhat cheap and of quality that I, I know I'd be satisf satisfied with. So what I did, I went ahead and I made my own. And the way I made these are, they're really not that hard to make as long as you're okay with the welder. Um, so the way I made this, this is half inch bar. And I took a cutting wheel on a four and a half inch angle grinder and I cut a slot right down the middle. And I took a piece of, uh, I believe this is conduit, uh, conduit pipe, you know, it's not that thick. It doesn't really need to be that thick. Um, and I tacked it on. Um, there's uh, two additional tacks on the other side, so there's four tacks on each piece, which is plenty strong. Um, I originally wanted to do a solid piece, but the problem is you need to get this uh, bolt that connects the saw through. So I figured I'd just do a piece on the bottom and a piece on the top. Um, now when you're making this, the only thing I'll comment on is this saw has a taper where it's thicker at the bottom and thinner on the top. Uh, that way, after you go through, or, uh, the, the best way I can describe it is when you're cutting through the kerf, uh, the thickest part is on the bottom, which would make sense because that'll cut the way and then it's thinner at, on the top, so that way you don't have as much drag. So I did have a little bit of trouble uh, getting that fit properly. Um, but all you need to do is take your cutting wheel and go back on the bottom and widen that out a little bit, which, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, and so the next thing I did after I tacked that on here and cut out my conduit, um, obviously you need to cut it in half. Uh, I took a bolt. Uh, I forget what size this is, but, you know, a little bit smaller than the uh, thickness of my finger, if that gives you any reference. And I cut off the head of the bolt. Then again, I took my cutting wheel on my angle grinder. I cut a slot um, enough so that it will slide freely on here and the spiders jumping on me uh, and then I took a center punch and I punched uh, right where you see this uh, this uh, piece that kind of holds it onto the saw um, so yeah I took a center punch and then I drilled that out and simply I drilled a hole on this piece of conduit and the other piece of conduit and obviously just a, a washer and a bolt and this handle it works very well it's very strong I mean it's I it cuts off a little bit but functionally this this is a hundred percent I was testing it out the other day and I cut all this no problem and yeah I'm, I'm just very pleased with the way it came out uh, I mean of course there are a few imperfections like uh, I, you can't really tell on video, but it is leaning inwards a little bit on the top, but the way I can correct that is just take my cutting wheel and uh, cut a little bit further down on the bottom, but 
yeah so again I just wanted to share with you that you don't need to spend $120 on a good pair of crosscut scent a crosscut saw handles you can just go out and make your own anyway while I'm here I might as well show you what I also made the other day uh, I made a, uh, a saw horse now these are recycled uh, I guess they're not four by fours they're almost like four by fives uh, that came off the bottom of a, an old pallet so I took those and I crossed them up and uh, this other these other pieces of cedar on the bottom here I just took them off pieces of old pallets and I made a saw horse so I'll just bring my branches here and then uh, we'll cut them up and stack the wood here probably could have stacked it a little further away but uh, you get the picture another cool thing that I did that I, I kind of liked about the saw horse is I took a limb and I sawed up uh, I cut up probably about two and a half three inch uh, block and just nailed it right there and again on the other side so that way after I go ahead and finish cutting through uh, my wood then I'll just prop the saw up right here and it's out of the way you don't know, throw it on the ground and you're not damaging your uh, freshly sharpened teeth I also just threw a nail right here and I have a little hatchet that I hang up uh, facing inward so that way uh, I can knock off any limbs without breaking the saw and uh, that stays off the ground too. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Show you the other one just as well. And thanks for watching.